This review was written by Herb Kaiser. You can find the link to his Twitter profile in the video description. He's a big fan of the Vita, so why not give him a follow? Syrup and the Ultimate Sweet is a short visual novel by Nom Nom Nami that was released by Rattalaker Games on the PlayStation Vita and other platforms. It stars a female alchemist named Syrup, who becomes a candy maker in a magical world filled with cute girls and animal girls. One day she finds a candy golem in her shop that insists on Syrup eating her, which leads to the fastest bad ending. But Syrup's assistant Pastille convinces her not to, leading to them adopting the golem and naming her Gumdrop. From the start you can unlock 9 other endings, some of which lead to friendships while others lead to various bad endings. I really love this game's art. It looks like a cartoon with nice outlines on the characters and sketches, relatively simple backgrounds that somehow just work here. Everything is somewhat candy themed, from the pastel colours to the character names full of puns. For more example, Syrup's self-declared rival is the little witch Butterscotch, who has her own helper named Toffee. The music is not that remarkable. It doesn't distract or feel too out of place, which is everything you can ask for in a simple game like this. As for the gameplay, if you've ever played a visual novel, this game doesn't do anything new. There are branching story paths with pretty obvious hints as to which ending they'll lead to, especially on subsequent playthroughs. A lot of text is repeated in different paths, which you can easily skip with the R shoulder button, but I was pleasantly surprised to see some unique text lines pop up here and there, inside the longer story sections on different routes. As for the Vita port specifics, Rattalaker is the master at porting these kinds of games, and it shows here. Everything is both touch controlled and button controlled, with quick access to all the features. Saving a game takes a little bit long, but you won't really need to do it here, unless you're strategically trying to unlock all the endings. Speaking of, the game has an included ending list that has a hint button on how to unlock specific endings, which I found helpful. Another nice little extra is the image gallery which includes some art that I didn't see in the actual game. Really my only criticism with Syrup comes down to the game's length. At just over one hour for the longest story run and maybe just two in total to unlock all the endings, it does feel a bit short. This is felt especially in the character interactions. Some of the side characters get virtually no development. I'd have loved to have seen more of the cat and wolf characters for example. All in all this is yet another fine little game for the Vita. Thanks to Rattalaker for bringing it to the little handheld that just won't die. And thanks to Herb Kaiser for writing this review. So guys are you planning to pick up Syrup and the Ultimate Suite? And if you played it already, what did you think? Leave a comment below and as always, thanks for watching.